I had to stop myself as I'm traversing my ways through the lands with Chai because I was a little bummed out. <laughs> this game was awesome and it's definitely in my top 20 games of all time easily playing this now it's hard for me to understand why xbox made the decision to shut down tango gameworks any rumors of there being a uh, leadership change and rumors of creative differences was all shut down Yes, the founder of the studio left, but he did say that he left it in good hands. So what does that mean for all of us who have enjoyed the adventures of Chai and Squad? How will this game be remembered? Let's just get right into it, right? Let's, uh, Chai down. <laughs> this? <laughs> if you haven't played this game yet, visually this game has a mix of your classic comic book cell shading and think of your 2000s style anime aesthetic and fashion like Fooly Cooly, one of my favorite animes of all time. <laughs> the music and sound cues all cater to each other because the world quite literally moves to the beat, platforming, combat, area. Even standing still, the game design is in sync with each other. It's like when you're driving and you're able to hit every light that's in front of you. It's an amazing feeling, but also extremely pleasing to look at. You know what I mean? I will say though, my eyes really see these colors because at the end of every every session, I'm usually blinking like a madman, rubbing my eyes like, oh god, like, I think it's time for me to take a step back. You know what I mean? But what happened here? What happened with Tango Gameworks? What happened with Xbox? TLDR, the summary of all this is that there was a realignment of priorities, which is corporate for we're not making enough money and now we need to make it look like we are. Even after stating that High Fire Rush was a success in all forms via Twitter, they still closed the studio. And with the beat of Xbox currently being that they need smaller studios to win accolades and awards, this game was quite literally checking all those boxes. Look, I know this is all old news at this point, but I'm just trying to piece together what happened and the sequence of events. Because all I'm seeing at this point for the legacy of this game, as fun and great as it is, the only thing that I can think of is that this game is quite literally embodies money over everything. This game, unfortunately, is the result of corporate promises and expectations, but it's also the result of very high-valued creativity and overall solid gameplay and game design. With those two hand in hand, it was definitely a recipe for disaster. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if Hi-Fi Rush received the proper marketing that all these other Xbox games received? Mind you, this was a shadow drop during the Game Awards and an Xbox Game Pass game. There was no way for this game to make money outside of the subscriptions and looking at playtime through every platform that it was available on. It almost feels like this game was set up to fail. Look, I, I'm not trying to exaggerate here, but when you're not receiving any marketing, uh, there's very low expectations for this game, right? Basically saying we don't have the money to market your game, to let people know that this is coming out, etc, etc. And then you add it to Game Pass because Corporate doesn't feel like it's going to receive as much yuzh or as much impact as other Xbox Game Pass games. So they're just like, all right, we'll just throw it in there and see what happens. Actually a natural and, environmentally friendly source and then this okay. game comes out, people play it, reviewers play it, streamers play it, and goes on something equivalent of an NCAA Cinderella run of banger reviews banger gameplay people praising this game and tango gameworks like yo where did this come from 
right? All that to say, Tango Gameworks was still shut down. Money over everything. It's hard for me to not look at this from a glass half empty perspective because man the hi-fi rush checks all those boxes it's a true pure game that we've been looking for and it's also on a corporate business level something that they should have marked as hey this may not make as much money but player retention and player engagement as well as player satisfaction right the triple p's that should have been more than enough Instead of us talking about how this game will be remembered, we should be talking about what Hi-Fi Rush 2 and 3 will look like. You know what I mean? We should. That's what this future perspective should be about. Instead, here I am sitting in front of this USB microphone talking about how I love this game, but I can't help but think about all that drama and corporate nonsense that went on to essentially kill this game and any potential that it had. You know what I mean? It, it, this this was a, this game was up next, and for Xbox heads, PC heads, overjoyed. Porting this over to the PlayStation, you would think there would be some sort of uptick, right? But they had shut the studio down right before they were doing that. So how are you supposed to measure success when you have plans of porting this to another platform, a competitor platform, mind you? and then still deem it as something that was worth shutting down anyway i'm kind of just ranting here <laughs> i'm kind of just going it look all that to say this game certified banger we know this we know this we also know that this game would have done numbers if it received the proper marketing the proper exposure early reviews whatever you want to call it it sucks that we're not going to get a sequel. However, it is safe to say that this game will age gracefully. The whole saying of, oh, don't get tattoos when you're young, you'll regret it when you're older, does not apply to this game. You know what I mean? At all. One of the better games that I've played this year, I know I'm really late to the show. The more I play, the more I think about how this game should have been next. You know, should have been next. Uh, and in hindsight, the Shadow Drive announcement was cool. You know, it was cool. But again, stating, yeah, it almost feels like this game was set up to fail. Uh, uh, it's, it's hard to not put two and two together. And playing this game after all of that has settled. How could you, how could any executive think that this game was going to succeed and do the numbers? That they would expect from a triple a game it just makes no sense to me. anyway anyway that's it for me that's the future perspective i really just wanted to get in on how this game will be remembered because it's such a mechanically polished game checks all those boxes but the drama behind it it's just like this big shadow and it's hard to even support some of the other decisions that Xbox is making with the increase in something like Game Pass, right? So what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy this game? How do you think this game will be remembered in 5, 10 years when we're celebrating the anniversary of the release of Hi-Fi Rush? You know what I mean? We're all going to be doing these retrospectives on how this game could have been it but here we are already talking about it in a future perspective so let me know what you guys think in the comments uh and yeah that's it for me and uh, i'll catch you later peace